Alright, make another 420 video. This one's gonna go up real close to food, or late, late, a little late because it's real close to 420 right now. Uh, I'm not sure what to talk about. I just bet y'all are watching it. After it happens, or you could think of a topic. If you do think of something, post it here and I will talk about it in a 420 video or possibly even make a series about it. I'm not sure what kind of butt I got today. Got some new butt though. Hold on. Ah. Fifteen dollars for about two grams. Mm. I was just camera showed it better. I'll get pictures of the bench suite once I fucking find this. Charger for this game. I just need to look a little harder. I have not really looked at all. Uh, I've been making a bunch of uh, videos about some secret society shit, so if you're into that or if you don't know anything about it, uh, go ahead and search Finn Shaggy F M I S or Freemason or whatever. Uh, or Secret Society. Uh, there's already. Like nine or ten episodes up. Uh, trying to think of something. Got a head. It says South Park. I used to live right by, so I'll, I'll talk about that, I used to live right by where South Park is, there are three South Parks in Colorado, one, South, pa South Park County, which is not the real South Park, two, South Park, the historical town, which looks like the real South Park, just one street with a bunch of square buildings, but it is not the real South Park, the real South Park is Littleton, Colorado, there's a tiny little, it's almost even just a shopping center, it's not really a neighborhood, uh, South Park, Colorado, over there in Littleton. That's where it's at. It's not even a shopping center. I mean, it's like a little tiny business district. Like, it's like a couple warehouses and stuff. Like, it's strange. I don't know why they based a show off of that. But that's where it's from. Littleton, Colorado, that's where those guys are from. Uh, yeah, I'll make some videos there eventually, because I will be, go be going back through there when I go to Denver. If you're ever in Denver, it's only like 20 minutes away. You just look up Highlands Ranch, Littleton. It's right there off of a... Uh, Broadway. Go down Broadway off of I... 70, 90, I don't know. Something like that. The one that goes east and west. You, you just go down that. You go... If you, if you come south from Denver, you're, you're up north already, you go south, and you get to this east-west highway, you go west until you get to Broadway, and then exit to the right, and uh, you'll see a sign that says South Park, you'll see a street that is called South Park, uh, that's South Park, that's the real one. Uh, uh, I don't know what else. Oh, I have a marijuana invention. I'm not going to give it away yet, but as soon as I get a down stem and some kind of rubber hose, I will be using a blowtorch that I've got over there, so it reminded me, to make an invention with a mason jar. I know all this stuff sounds crazy until you see it together, and then you're like, oh my god, I want one. Because what it's going to do is, if you don't know how to make hash, it's going to make hash for you, and what it is going to make hash out of is your exhaled smoke. So, recycling.
I can't think of nothing. Uh, hopefully you've been here the whole time and haven't X'd off the video yet. And hopefully you don't steal my invention before I make it, if you understand what it is. I don't know. I can't think of nothing right off the top of my head that doesn't have to do with any of the things that I'm going to make videos about already. Uh, oh, grow coming soon. Just got to get my fucking veg lights and then I'm going to buy some clones and I'll be on my way to growing some dank dank plants. Some of that dank dank. Uh, and I will most likely have an HPS this time. So, looking forward to that. Growing with high pressure sodium. That is the way to go if you grow at all. If you want to grow some medical grade weed, all you need is a high pressure sodium light and some nutrients and some good soil. A thousand watts of high pressure sodium will grow up to like six to twelve good plants. Up to. I mean, that's not recommended because if you grow like 12 plants with it then you're going to be stretching that light out you're going to have some popcorn buds at the bottom some fluffy shit uh, can't think of nothing else no. I don't know I do have a video camera here but I can't figure out how to get it to work on the computer I plug it in and it says that it is a video file. It says it's <coughs> .mov, and but then it uh, it only plays audio. It won't show the video, so I can't put it on YouTube because there wouldn't be any video. I mean, I know it's not that interesting what I'm doing, but I mean, you don't just want to listen to a voice the whole time. I bet you'd rather see a face. Uh. Look up that Illuminati shit, uh, secret society stuff, look up. I've been making some videos about Christianity. If you are or are not Christian, they're just informative. It's not like trying to make you a Christian. It's uh, just trying to teach you about Christianity and some of the kind of crazy stuff that's in the Bible. Eventually, I'll be showing y'all how to smoke religiously a bunch of different ceremonies. There's already one up if you look up Finn Shaggy Ceremonial Blazing. Before I started showing my face, I did a video and I have a bunch of bandanas and stuff on trying to hide my face. And that was when I had a beard and long ass hair too. If you haven't seen me with a beard and long ass hair, uh, down to here, uh, look up Finn Shaggy Sonora, Mexico. I smoked a joint, rolled with a speeding ticket. I got a speeding ticket in Arizona and rolled a joint with it in Mexico. Well, a couple joints with it in Mexico. She's got a Jolly Rancher spit, like got some Jolly Rancher in my mouth, and rolled up, got it to stick. Made a joint on the speeding ticket because I didn't have any papers down there. They don't just sell zigzags at the store, it's weird. Or anything. I'm going to talk about something weird that happened while I was in Mexico. On the news, it said that Obama signed off on a thing saying that these people could go give a bunch of guns to a cartel for free. Just give it to them. Supposedly, on the pretense that the cartel was supposed to come back and pay them later and give them names. Like, bullshit. That's not what they thought was going to happen. They, they gave them a bunch of guns. And then... Another, something Sorry, other. I just ran out of video, so I'll have to make this quick. Uh, it was the presidential election in like a week when he gave those guns away. And Mexico politics, the way it works, is for 80 years, one group was in power. And then this guy decided that he was going to make the next guy his puppet. So he was going to basically still be president. And he uh, he went and he like treated that guy like shit. And then when the guy got in the White House, the guy kept coming into the White House. And uh, he said, hey, get the fuck out. Like This is my White House now. And he's like, well, you're my puppet. And then he went to the guy's house with a bunch of, like, tanks and shit and everything. The, the puppet did. He went to the house. 
and said, hey, like, get the fuck out of the country and kick him out of Mexico. And then he gave the political power to PAN, P the National Action Party. But everything's backwards in Spanish. Uh, and then PAN was in power for uh, the past, like, 20, 30 years. And then all of a sudden Obama gives a bunch of guns to a cartel and power switches to PRI or PRE, I believe. Uh, but that's, that's some strange shit, some weird shit happened. Uh, but I'm going to end this video so that I can not just have it end on itself.